So this is our germination station, or germination chamber. It is basically just a tent. Um, this is a mylar coating, so it reflects all the light from the, uh, the light and it helps keep the humidity high. You can have this whole setup without these lights. That's totally fine. The main goal is just to have a closed space that's high humidity. In the bottom, we have a humidifier with a heating element. So that'll produce heat and humidity for the early spring when it's important to get warm temperatures in here for things like peppers and tomatoes. We also have an ultrasonic humidifier, which has no additional heat. It just uses vibration to kick up humidity into the air. And that's really important for the summer when you actually need cool temperatures to get things to germinate, even inside, even though it's air conditioned space. I do like having the lights as an option in here in the top couple rows because some of the things uh, like our eggplants and tomatoes, and these are actually artichokes, are going to benefit from having some additional light. And another advantage of having the lights in here are for things like some of our flowers, as well as some vegetables, very few vegetables, actually benefit from having light to help them germinate. And I think any kind of horticultural type website should have something like this uh, for indoor like hydroponic type growing. I got shelves from Lowe's, LED lights from Lowe's. The LEDs are important because they don't put off a lot of heat. So even with, you know, four lights and I can turn on these two, it's still not going to get really above like 75, maybe 85 if I had it all zipped up, um, which isn't, isn't too warm for things like tomatoes and peppers. I also keep a humidity and temperature monitor. So this will give me a high low of humidity, a high low of temperature. Uh, because I've had it open, the humidity's really dropped. But once I put all these trays that I'm about to seed in here and they're all moist, it's gonna get pretty humid in there, even without turning on the humidifiers. So I like to keep track of that. I use bottom watering trays because we're inside a building. So it's just a, a closed tray that our seed tray sits inside of that. And then we just fill it with water. So I just try and check on these about every day, every other day. I will fill it up on Friday and I don't even have to think about this whole setup until Monday.